Brian McNeil, Senior Program Manager, Central Project Management. We monitor the project status, what bugs are going on to make sure the project is still on course, kind of drive the individual milestones, make sure features are coming into the product on time, and making sure we're on schedule. My history at Microsoft, I originally started working on HPI, which is power management in the kernel team. Um, I was doing some test work there, kind of moved to do XP Embedded, which is, was the first componentized OS we shipped. Um, that went out and it was for small device manufacturers to do point of service terminals, to do cash registers, slot machines, all individual products from there. Then went to go work on Vista and with Vista and Windows Server 2008, we were able to manage what was there for the kernel and the core teams to make sure all the code was flowing up to the mainline product on time. With Windows Server 2008, you're going to be able to deploy Terminal Services Gateway. What this allows you to do, it's a simple way for doing VPN connections to connect to your corporate network. Instead of traditional dial-up applications or homegrown applications that let you get into your corporate network, Terminal Services Gateway allows me to, with a connectoid, connect to my machine but in the office from home with just using my smart card. With Windows Server 2008, you have Server Core. Server Core is a pared down version of server where you don't have all the extra services running, you don't have all the GUI applications, you don't have Internet Explorer. So what you can do is you can deploy your lightweight server that only has the necessary pieces running. Now what you have is you don't have to do updates for IE, you don't have to do updates for Windows Media Player, you don't have to do all of these other individual updates. All you have is your core platform, your core services running to deploy your roles for Windows Server 2008. Administration and deploying of individual roles is much easier. Now what you're able to do is select the role you want to deploy, a file server, a web server, your AD, all these individual roles are there, easily deployed with Server Manager. Server Manager allows the IT admin to go in, select the role he wants to deploy, it's going to install all the dependencies for that role onto the box, there you're ready to go, go through your configuration, Bam, I have my file server, it's up and running. Bam, I have my IIS server, it's up and running. Now all I can do is put my content on, make it live, and I'm ready to go. As an IT manager, you don't need a team of IT admins to go off and deploy your key roles within your corporation. Some of the management consoles, some of the deployment tools we have make that much easier so you need less people to go off and deploy those roles. After you've deployed those roles, you don't need a team of folks to monitor those roles as they're running. We have a bunch of new management consoles, a bunch of new utilities that allow you to troubleshoot and identify issues that you may be having with your deployments ahead of time so that you can fix those within your environment and you don't have to call PSS or kind of do the individual support calls. Windows Server 2008 is fantastic. Installation is so simple, your mom could do it. <laughs> My mom's barely a computer user. <laughs>